last time on Play to Win, Joshua used his little green creatures to kill the table. Will he be able to do it again this week on Play to Win? Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're playing some CEDH with Kirby from Fit for a King and Joshua from We Came as Romans. A lot of people call me Kirby. Uh, I'm in a band called Fit for a King. My name is Joshua. I play guitar in a band called We Came as Romans. Heavy decks and heavy music. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Use code play to win 5 for 5% off the affiliate link down below to help support the show. Stick around to the end for more deals. So we have Joshua on You Go In. Yes, you do. Kirby is playing The Life with Will Scion of Peace until he's not. Cam is playing our patron Mark's Clark and Silas list. Flip it, rip it, ship it. And I'm playing Jensen Luris at our patron Kawaja's suggestion. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. Josh, you're up first. I draw this card. Forest, draw a tree speaker. Good from there. Draw, windswept teeth, discard, planes for a mox diamond. Pass the turn. I will draw. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah. All right, let's cast the mana crypt. Nice. Mana vault, floating one colorless. Belwar stone. I'll pass the turn. Did you say no lands and pass the turn? Yep, no lands and pass the turn. Yeah. Awesome. This hand would have worked out a little bit better if maybe there wasn't just a fetch land in play. I usually forget that Felwar stone is only good when there's more than just a green mana in play in your Grixis deck. Draw. But I am also going to cast Mana Crypt. I'm going to respond by cracking my Windswept Teeth. Does my Mana Crypt resolve? It does. I'm also going to cast a Fell War Stone. I do have a land, though. I have a Flooded Strand. I'm going to crack mine. I'll get Tropical Island. Cast Jensen. Go ahead. I, on the other hand, got pretty lucky with my Fell War Stone because Kirby cracked his land before I got to play it because I think he was afraid of, like, land opposition agent hold up. So we wanted to make sure that he fetched his land before I had the option to do that, which actually ended up kind of helping my Fell War Stone. See, that's funny because I am also remembering that I tapped this... Mana Vault, when I didn't really need to for this, because this ended up being still really bad for me here, because yeah. now I have a tap Mana Vault. I don't have access to this mana either. Draw this card. Forest. Level up my Draga Tree Speaker. Pass the turn from there. Untap, draw. Play Mystic Gate for land. Attempt to play well. Pass. On my upkeep odds, I'll take damage from my Mana Crypt here. That was really suspenseful as shit. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Draw step. I'll lose a life going down to 39. Cast a Rhystic Study. I'll flash in a Script Ranger. And then I'm um, got nothing. I also have no other follow ups. So go to me. Untap. Upkeep. Mana Crypt. Odds will take damage. And even. All right. Draw card. Tundra is land for turn. I'm going to activate. Jensen. This is the, actually the only thing that Jensen does in this deck. I'm going to use that five mana to cast Bring to Light. Jensen trigger, which will allow me to scry one. I will not pay for Rustic Study. Cool. I get to go look for a something with a mana value equal to the number of colors spent to cast this spell, which is all five colors. I'm going to find and cast Ad Nauseum. Can I draw a card? You may. I'll exile a Drog Skull Reaver and a Force of Will. May I draw? I guess so, yep. I, I have I have response to Force of Will. Deflecting Swat. May I draw? You may. I have no further response. I will have the Force of Will redirect to the Deflecting Swat. Ad nauseum back onto the stack. Sounds like you're good. I'll start. I'm at 39 right now. I'll stop there at five. I'm not going to pay for any of the Rhystic Studies. Cast Chromox, Pitching, Deathrite Shaman. I got a card. Mox Amber. I got a card. Lotus Petal. I got a card. Jesus Christ. Dark Ritual. Yep. Crack Lotus Petal for a red. Cast Silence. All right, get a card. No, that is not any interaction. Cast Cabal Ritual turned on. Cast Underworld Breach. Get in the card. Grinding Station. Grinding Station has an untap ETB. I will sacrifice the Mox Amber in response to it to mill Springleaf Drum, Brain Freeze, and Mox Opal. It untaps. Mox Opal. Getting your three cards with the Underworld Breach. Triggering the Grinding Station to untap. I'll respond to it in Float of Blue. And then I will sacrifice the Mox Opal to the Grinding Station. Milling three. One, two, three. And got a Lion's Eye Diamond. Definitely get it. Cast Lion's Eye Diamond and discard cards and cast Brain Freeze over and over. If that's okay, I'll keep on doing that until I find Das's Oracle and uh, cast it. Perfect. 
Wow, yeah. that was insane. That was the luckiest start I think I've ever had. <laughs> that was exactly what this deck is supposed to do when quickly off of a bring to light into ad nauseum. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's really fucking cool. But that was a quick one. We should do another one. Let's go into game two. This time, Kirby's going to switch decks from Will into Eyeless Luris. Pre games? Try the Gemstone Caverns. Let's remove a Talisman of Hierarchy from the game. All right, cool. I will draw for turn. Forest, I will pass my turn. Draw Marsh Flats. Crack it to go get Godless Shrine. Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. And I'll pass. I'll get a draw. Play a Marsh Flats and cast a Mox Opal. But that's it. I'll pass. Draw a card, play a Marsh Flats and crack. Find a Bayou. Mox Diamond. Discard Volcanic Islands when it enters. Jensen. I'll lose a life. That's it. I'm going to cast a Worldly Tutor. I'll just get this Priest of Titania. Go to my turn, draw this Priest of Titania. I'm going to play this Priest of Titania, and I'm going to pass. Untap, draw, play Scrubland, Cathar Commando, cast a Diabolic Intent. I do have a Lotho trigger. I'll, uh, the target would be Cathar Commando. It'll be that. I'll hit Cameron with two. Cool, yeah. So that'll put me down to 38. I'm going to 37 to crack my Marsh Flats on end step. Get an Underground C, and then I'll use that Underground C on a Vamp Tutor on end step still. That'll bring me down to 35. Put this card on top of my deck. Move to my turn. Draw it. Badlands is my land for turn. Mana Crypt. Bergy. I'll get a trigger. Uh, yes, you will. Pass the turn after that. Untap. I'll keep. Draw card. Mana Vault. Cast a Springleaf Drum, my second spell of the turn. You got your Lotho trigger? Yep. Cast Aether Vial. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. Land for turn. Carpet. Second main. I would like to add a green Marwin. Lotho. Good from there. Untap. Draw. Play a Swamp for land. Put Luris into my hand. Cast an Imperial Seal. Put a card on top of the library. Put Luris out. Lotho trigger. I'll move to combat. I'm going to swing Lotho to Dylan for two. I will go to 37 and I'll pass. On my upkeep, odds I'll take damage. Nice, got an even, so I'll get a draw. Blood Crypt untapped. 33. Clark, make a red with Bergy. Tavern Scoundrel, trigger Bergy. Got a Lotho trigger. Ponder, triggering Clark and Bergy. Here's my Clark odds. I return it to hand, evens, it doubles. Odds. Pass the turn. My Clark luck has been absolutely horrendous yeah. in this pot of matchups I've had here. Untap, upkeep, Aether Vial trigger, I'll put a counter on it, and still an upkeep, I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. Find Mystic Gamora. Put Mystic Gamora on top. Draw for turn. Cast Mystic Gamora. Lotho. Pass turn. Untap, draw. I'll get a mana. Your time pass. Trigger Marwin for a counter. It's Woodland Bellower. Woodland Bellower. Lotho trigger. Woodland Bellower, ETB, collect roof, and I'm done. Well, there goes my lots of mana. This oof is so strong. Lotho is getting so many treasures, most of my mana development, and the Aether Vial that I was looking forward to use is all artifacts. This shuts even down you by a decent amount. My Tavern Scoundrel is not going to do anything now. Yeah, collect roof is just so strong, especially right now. Vasira Seer, cast the Cathar Commando. I'll lose a life still. <laughs> and get a treasure I can't use. I'll pass. Odds I take damage. I got a one, I'm down to 30. Draw. I'm actually just gonna pass. Untap, upkeep, Mr. Grimora, pay for it with this Bayou to keep it around. And with Aether Vial, I'll still put a charge counter on it. Drop for turn, pass my turn. And your end step, tap one to sack our commando to target the carpet of flowers. All right, I will go to my turn. Draw, survival of the fittest. Mr. Grimora trigger. Go ahead and play my command. Your Marwin pass from there. Untap, draw, play a Verdant Catacombs. Gonna crack it. Swamp, recast, Cathar Commando. A Lossial Core, a Lotho Trigger. This sucks. And that's all I can do for my turn. Odds I take damage on my Crypt. Got an even. I will draw. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Fish dies. Aether Vile will stay at two. And I will draw. Oh boy. Look at this. Look at this. What is it? It is Lotus Petal. I will pass my turn. End of your turn. I would like to tap Priest to activate Survival to fit it. All I can do is I'll tap. It won't take the trigger, but I'll destroy the Survival. With that on the stack, I will activate Survival again. Pitching a Wirewood Chandler and an Endurance. Oh, each of you lose one life from the Cathar Commando. Nagging, a Hearing Ranger, a Ashaya. Survival's gone. These two in my hand. Go to my turn. Play a Hearing Ranger. Trigger Marwin, S, and Ashaya. Force of Will, Pitching Ponder. Lose a life. 28. Croc Trigger. Odds it returns. It's an even, so we make a copy of it. Lotho. 
Just killing me. In that case, play a leaf crown visionary. Oh, I got two treasures when I want to flip. That'll go up there. Return a forest to my hand to untap priest. Play a forest for turn. I'll give elves plus three plus three and trample until end of turn. Nine at cam, five more at cam, bellower at cam as well. Chump bellower with the tavern scoundrel and take the rest going down to 14. I'll pass from there. And tap, drop, cast a Leonin Relic Order. Put it ETBs, get rid of a treasure. Then I will sack it to Viserys here, which everybody loses a life, and I also gained a life. Try one, cast Animate Dead. Oh, uh-oh, we got Oh, we I have something to say again. We got an uh-oh. An, an offer you can't refuse, trigger Bergy and Crark. Oh, here it goes. Even's copy. It was a three. Oh, Mox Opal makes mana now. No, collect roof. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't make mana now. All right. <laughs> uh, I have nothing else. Yeah, Animate Dead's good. I'll have a loop with Leon and Relic Order and LSO Core. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. Animate Dead targeting Leon and Relic Order. Leon and Relic Order's ETB exiles a permanent till it leaves the battlefield. But when Animate Dead leaves the battlefield, Leon and Relic Order dies, essentially. And then Animate Dead returns, brings him back to life. Then he dies again. Then Elisil Core is there for the, uh, when a creature ETBs gain a life, and whenever one leaves, lose a life. Fuck yeah, we are Deadzo. Deadzo. That was a great game. We don't get to see that deck win often. It's a strategy that I think is very cool. Collector Oof, really shutting everyone down. Joshua was this close, I think, to being able to like actually kill us all after like soft locking us out. But Kirby was just able to sneak in a win there before he was able to. Got everything that he needed to piece this together. And they did it nicely, too. Thank you so much for watching. Because you watched till the end, you can get 10% off our coins on our website, play mtgcom by using code it's -a -me, Mario down below. And if you like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Devlin, Mark Cirillo, Alan Button, Lowercase, Zachary Nelson, She Doesn't Even Go Here, Joey Aaron, SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Albusabi, Kylock, Demon of Razgris, Uncle Butch, Squadja Akamid, Lauren Gano, and Baby Jeebus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can go to playwinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield for supporting the show. Make sure that you use our affiliate link down below and use code PLAYTOWIN5 for 5% off your order to help support the show. Follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. We talk about our $50 patrons. Andrew Thomas. Tyler. Heck. In. Libel. Malcraft. Fuck Islamia. Jabba. Halton. Booty. Katanas. Mitch Shepard. Justin. Man Solo. Ajo. Jake Depp. Michael Ballou. God Wild Fan is playing. David. Please enjoy. Oh, not please enjoy. That sounds lame. How do I say it? How do I say that better? Should we go backwards now?